here at Saffron House, George Bowie, young trainer, 28 years old, and giving it a bit of a kick. Uh, it's great to be here, thank you for having us. Yeah, it's um, great, to, great to have you. Yeah, very nice, kind of you. Nice to have people in. Yeah. Um, we should, we're keeping our distance, so we'll, we'll have a look around. Good to see your hair's growing up. I butchered it with my clippers a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, two, mi two millimeters is now nicely growing out. Yeah, <laughs> Get my top hat on next week. Your girlfriend wasn't happy with you. No, not at all. <laughs> well, should we crack on? We're going to have a look. Yeah, absolutely. James Garfield lives in the end box down there, which has been uninhabited, much to the delight of George Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I was using it as a storage box for a while, but it's now full. Right, is that? Um, and, and so, what have you got here at the moment? So we've got we've got 24 boxes here, which are all now full. Uh, but there's another barn just over there, yeah. which hopefully will grow into um, as hopefully we keep training more winners. But um, yeah, yeah it's, it, look, it's perfect for us at the moment. The horses seem very happy here. They've, they've settled in straight away, and we've had winners within the first month that we were here, and just kind of trying to kick on from there. Really. I was going to say, yeah, 36%. 36%, 75% from the top three, I think. Which yeah. is nice. Yeah. Pretty remarkable. Um, yeah. Pretty remarkable. Try and run the right ones. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, what have we got coming out next? Um, three C's runs on Wednesday. Yeah. And I think the two year old Memas, as time goes by, will most likely go to the Windsor Castle. Can we have a look at it? Yeah. So, bought by Alex Elliott. Bought by Alex Elliott, a brother as well. Um, he bought the brother. And, yeah, look, we actually bought him on spec. and. And Alex very kindly put me into the Roy's and, and that Paul bought the horse and um, it's our first horse for them and hopefully, hopefully the first of many but you know he's a thoroughly likeable horse who just keeps trying really. Um, like we could have run him three days after the race, he's got an amazing constitution. Um, so yeah the quick backup probably will suit us. Right, yeah, brilliant. Say. Enjoy the attention to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, undecided for Ascot at the moment. Undecided for Ascot. Ben Curtis okay. sat in this morning who will ride him in whichever race he runs. It's a picture of this. It's a picture of this. probably should have brushed him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but the way you're dressed, you're obviously lack of importance. We were talking this morning about that story with Roger Charlton on the beta blockers before the derby. Are you going to be similar to that, Jim? Are you going to be foxed over a bit before Ascot? What are we five days out now? It's um, you see where we were last time. We're looking, but um, <laughs> no, it's it's exciting though. It's what yeah. we it's what we do it for. So um, I can't wait. Really, yeah. it's a great barn. Yeah, really yeah, it's yeah, it's very good. Yeah. It's I, you know it's quite an old barn, but um, I like horses being in the barn. They can see each other. Um, yeah. and yeah, the horses seem very healthy in here. Um, which is the main thing, the great horse. The great horse here with Antonia, three C's, who was bought by Sam Haggis. I bought him for about the minimum bid of them, and he's he's won four since, and Antonia's won two on him at Southwark. Um, so yeah, he's, he's, he's looks, the old favourite really. He looks an absolute picture. We might just walk around. Yeah, he's yeah, involved. He's outside. Yeah. This is a fun horse involved who won yesterday. Um, Absolute gentleman, we bought it. So, well, Sam Haggis actually, again, who's well, most of my winners. Yeah. Um, he bought him off Dan Kubler last year, and he's been the most straightforward horse I think I've ever trained. Um, he eats, he sleeps, he trains. He's never touched wood taking a lame step. And it was impressive yesterday. You know, the ground I thought was going to go against him. There with my stick digging away, everyone taking <laughs> this out of me. Um, <laughs> Found the first no, part of the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down the middle, yeah, Doyler. Yeah. He looks pretty happy. He's a happy boy, yeah. yeah. Living the dream out here. Um, another thing I wanted to ask you, I found it looks like basically the photo cover to a boy band. <laughs> when was this? And I so think this was um We're gonna get this, we're gonna get this on there. So this was actually the day that George Scott moved in here. So taken from this barn? Taken down the far end by Jason Bax of Equus Photography. <laughs> with now four trainers, Ed Crisford in his gammy barber jacket. James Ferg, they're working for Godolphin. George and me in a pretty dodgy suede jacket. <laughs> Best sense to never be no strong point to no. be fair, has it? <laughs> yeah. here. The car. Uh, that was courtesy of Hugo Palmer. He drove into the back of me um, on his push bike. Not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> How do you find it? So, 28 years old. 
and trainer, quite a lot of pressure, long hours. How do you find it? Easy to deal with, difficult to deal with? Um, the training side, I think, is fine. It's the, in the porter cabin that's the, <laughs> the you know. Worried you're going to blow away? Or? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's firmly put there. Yeah. No, it's the, it's the running of a business, I think. I was, um, I was talking to someone when I went out to Saudi Arabia in the winter, and, you know, they were saying, oh, I'm very daunting, you know, starting training. And, and I said, yeah, it is, but you, know, you don't start training unless you, you think you can do it. Yeah. Um, it's actually running a business and, Friday today paying the wages, yeah. um, which you know, you've got to make the, you know, make the company work, yeah. um, which it is at the moment, thankfully. But buying and selling a few horses is something that I want to do. And you know, the horse yesterday is for sale, and you know, he's a horse who I just want to do a bit more of that. You know, I think there's a huge market to, to buying tried horses, as they call them, in yeah. Australia, and, and, and trading them. Um, so, yeah. You've got the right man outside with, with Sam Haggis. Yeah, absolutely. Great man. He's, he's done a lot of work for me and spends most of his time at the desk. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But we're no, I tell. think, you know, <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with a good form man and, and a, you know, a vet at the sales, it's, yeah. it's, it's very different to buying yearlings. You, know, you can buy um, form horses without even looking at them, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, mate, this has been, uh, it's been good fun catching up. Very good. Yeah, good to have very you funny in. you to have us. No, any time. Cricket bat in the back of the car. Or Newbury. Yeah. yeah. Eating up. Uh, what is it? The security thing? Or, uh, no, yeah. for the uh, the annual Nimo cricket match. Oh, in, brilliant. In Banbury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Retire good. at 40. Go <laughs> yeah. burst straight through that. <laughs> Get out of time just to watch the 4.30. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.